Chump Sonny is looking for a run. He's still pretty fresh on the blacklist, so now's your chance. Don't blow it. Hello everyone, this is Olive Branch and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. In the previous episode I showed off one sprint race event and three milestone events on the same go. Off camera I've completed all three race events as well as the missing photo ticket uh, milestone event. Since we've completed three of his race events and three milestone events, Sonny says, all right, I'm ready for the race. So let's go challenge him. So every time you challenge your rival, they tell you uh, straight up front what kind of races you're going to be doing. In this case, Sonny wants us to do two circuit races. If you remember from his bio, they said he's good at circuit races, but that's really just to show off basically what the last event the rival wants to race is. Anyway, let's challenge Sonny and get this over with. Oh man, what an entrance. I like to, th I like to imagine that Sonny has like a, b a boom box in his car and he just plays that whenever he approaches people to race them. So Sonny's car is that, uh, if you remember, it's a Volkswagen Golf GTI and it's pretty much pimp pumped up. You know, it's pimped all to hell, it's riced up, it's got spoilers, it's got rims. But, you know, we've got good old overpowered American engineering with the Cobalt SS. And right now we're doing pretty good at keeping Sonny behind us. Let's scratch that, it looks like Sonny's a little bit pissed off. Now remember what I said earlier on in the last episode about it being like, you know, white suburban kids racing their, their dad's cars? This is pretty much it, except it's one-on-one -on -one instead of uh, a free-for-all. I like to imagine Sonny's only rich and he, uh, you know, he's like, He's from a really white bread place, but you know, like being from a Korean-born family, he's uh, he's got money to spend, so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pimp this right out instead of going to class or something. <laughs> and oh dear me, um, you know, you made me you made me like wincing at the <laughs> you made me wincing at the amount of damage I'm doing to the poor Chevy here, but. The thing is, this game is very, like I said, the cars are made of titanium, nothing stops them, the damage is purely visual, and the, I guess what you could call the saving grace is that no matter how much you wreck up your car and how much you damage it, if you just jump back to your safe house and pop back into free roam, all damage is immediately fixed, is immediately uh, repaired, for no price whatsoever. You know, if only, if only real life was so kind with cars. You know, in real life, if you just smack that cab like I did in the last video, or if you, uh, if you, if you raced like I'm racing Sunny right now, you'd be, you know, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be killed. I also like to imagine that the people who did Fast, the Fast and the Furious movies, you know, if they, if they saw this kind of driving, they'd be appalled. And Sunny tries to do a little bit of a last-second pass there, but we still have one more lap to go. Now this game does have four camera views. You can go straight into the hood of the car and uh, the dashboard, or not the dashboard, but rather the, the, the windshield of the car. And these two first um, uh, camera modes have a rear view mirror. The, out, the outside ones, either close to the car or far away from the car, don't. There is a, there is a visual mod that allows you to put the, uh, the rear view mirror on top of the screen when you're in the uh, outdoor view. But I don't like using those kind of things. I'm only using the widescreen mod right now to capture this in glorious ten, uh, 16 by 10 depth. Right, here comes the tricky turn. Let's see if I can't get the. In yes, I got the inside. But so did Sunny. Damn. Now one thing that the Need for Speed Most Wanted series and actually most racing games have that is very annoying for players who are doing really well or really poorly is rubber banding. The Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted game, this Most Wanted is actually one of the worst offenders. 
I heard a story about a guy who was who was uh, using some mods to fly his car, flying over a thousand miles per hour just to test something. And this was during a blacklist race. And when he actually went to see how, you know, if the, if his rival was getting smoked into dust, his enemy's car was actually driving along at 500 miles per hour on the ground. So yeah, this game's rubber banding is ridiculous. You may think it's easy now, but it's going to get much, much worse as we go. So after beating the blacklist rival in the first race, we have to move on to the second one. Later rivals are going to have three races, and then four, and then finally Razor is going to challenge us with five. So you better get used to not saving between and just pumping through it. Anyway, let's move on to the next circuit race. Awesome. You always want to try to get a perfect launch. Blacklist rate rivals are very, very annoying if you don't. Oh, I just missed an opportunity for a shortcut there and Sunny grabbed it. Most of the times, as you can see from the minimap, the shortcuts are not marked as, a, as an appropriate route because you never know if there's going to be uh, those big barriers with arrows telling you to uh, turn. But you have to keep your eyes peeled. I didn't. I was paying too much attention to the road ahead of me. Now I have to admit, I am not a tuning enthusiast. I don't know very much about cars. All of the research I'm doing on cars is based off Wikipedia and the help from AAA. Uh, who said, hey, I volunteer to help you out with some of the research here. So I have no idea what Kenwood or what G-Ready are, like off the top of my head right now. Sunny's car is decked out with those, but if anyone in the thread wants to enlighten me, feel free. I imagine it's some sort of like brand for suspender, suspension or nitro or something. Ooh, damn. Now Sunny's getting close. A good strategy is to try and block off, like literally. Ah, oh, god damn it! I missed the shortcut again. But so did Sunny. It looks like. Oh well. No harm done. As long as I keep him behind me. Hmm. That lack of handling is biting me in the ass now. I'll tell you. <laughs> Maybe I should use the handbrake when I'm turning. Oh, there comes Sunny. Oh, damn it! I was trying to uh, cut him off. Oh, now he's cutting me off, the dick. But it's okay, if I take the inner curve, I should be able to outrun him. As well as the shortcut. Ah, oh, here comes the ending. It was so close. And there's the finish line. We did it. Look, you can see Sunny in the background there. He's, I bet he's looking pretty desperate. So after beating a Blacklist Racer, we get a, a amount of cash. And we also going to get to pick two markers from them. Actually, sorry about rushing through the race stats there, not showing the stats on the last race, but I actually do want to show this. So poor Sunny, he's done for. We've taken his position on the Blacklist. And so, we get to pick custom markers like we don't know about, or we can get some unique part and visual and performance upgrades. Now the unique performance and visual and parts are not that good, to be honest. You really do want to try to get one of these bonus markers over here, because one of them includes the, the, the rival's car. So if we're lucky, I meant I'll be able to get his Golf GTI. Let's go left. Yes, I got his pink slip. Okay, so next time we visit our house, or our safe house, Sunny's car is going to be waiting for us. The other bonus markers that we don't know about, they may include uh, stuff to get out of jail from the police, extra impound strikes from the car in case we fail a pursuit, or just plain old extra cash. So I'm going to pick this bonus marker. 
Ah, uh, we got a jet out, get out of jail for free card. So, if we're busted, we don't have to pay any fines for our bounty. Not bad, I guess. I mean, really, the only thing that's really worth it is the pink slip to the rival. And so, here we go. We have our next blacklist rival to face. Vince Killick, also known as Taz. Alright, let's see his intro movie. Alright, so Raj is letting us know that now we've beat Sunny, we're going to get new cars and parts every time we beat a blacklist racer. But he's just warning us to plan ahead of, because cash isn't always easy to earn. So indeed, planning is very important. What is this here? Ah, yeah, Roger just keeps us upgraded. He's just saying to us, he's just telling us, hey, we got new blacklist and we got new milestone and race events to do. So... Let me go back to the safe house. And yep, looks like Taz wants us to beat four of his races and three of his milestone events, and we have a lot more options for races this time around. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the blacklist race there against, uh, against Sunny, who is now defeated. And uh, I'll be catching you guys next time. See ya!